Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, BSF Canada, and Syngenta Canada. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Today I am at the Allura Research Station catching up with Omafra Soybean Specialist, Horace Bonner. Horace, how's it going? Excellent. Nice to see you. Hey, it's great to be out here and thank you for the invitation. I, I want to talk about this spring and it's been a strange one for soybeans. Um, it has. Yeah, it, has. it really has. Um, yeah. We've had, you know, a lot of late emergence, stalled emergence, replants. Mm. Um, it's been dry. It hasn't been wet. A lot of things going on here. Yeah. How do you see this? It's, it's, one, it's a strange situation. Well, we, we definitely have growers, especially on clay soil, struggling to get a good plant stand. And of course, we know in soybeans, you want a good plant stand to set yourself up for big yield, right? right? And so the way I look at it this year, we are somewhat surprised because typically it's those wet years and then maybe you get a hard rain and it dries out and the clay is crust. We, we had some of that this year for sure, but not as much as you'd think. Typically in Ontario, we have to reseed between 20,000 and say 150,000 mm -hmm. acres, right? So between one and 4% of the crop. This year, we're gonna be probably on the 4% yeah, side of things. On the higher on side. On the higher right. side, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about maybe a fix here. How do we fix this? How do we sort of assess this and, and move on to a new year? A lot of things you can do, one thing, obviously, is that planting population. Well, that's absolutely right. You know, even in today's present um, seeding rate recommendations, there is a, a buffer zone in there. You don't need every seed to come right. up because it doesn't anyway. Right. But there is a bit of buffer in there for years like this, right? right? So one of the things we want to do is, is update those recommendations. Of course, seed costs have gone up. Uh, we're selling beans at a, at a higher price too, but you put those two together and you come up with your best economic return. And that's why we're redoing some of those trials and, and that's what we're standing in yeah. right here. You know, yeah, and, and the recommendation right now, 165,000 um, on 15 inch rows with a planter, planter right? With a planter, with a planter right? unit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and the reason we point that out is of course with the drill in 15 inch, we're at 177. Yeah. We need a little more because we yeah. have a little less uh, emergence, yeah. a little lower emergence with the drill compared to a plant. Yeah. 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 Now, you're, I just say, you're, you're thinking about you know where those recommendations need to go in the future. Right. And a great trial right here. You have got, let's see, 90,000, 160,000, and 230,000. Yeah. And it really is telling a story. Well, it's very interesting, right? When, when you do this kind of work, what you pro try to do is you set up a response curve. So you have a lower number, kind of a normal number and a pretty high number, right? And that's where we, why we have that 230. Well, in 15 inch rows uh, on, on nicer, lighter soils like this, 230 and 15 should be lots, right? So here's the really interesting take home. Now, well, this is the third year of the study and we have three varieties. Uh, short season, uh, an adapted and a long mm -hmm. season variety, and then three dates. We, we tried to hit April, May, and June. Uh, this year, the first date was actually April 12th, but last year was April. The point of the story is this, right? We would expect that with that very late date, maybe the 230 would win because mm -hmm. in June, you know, you, the plants are yeah. shorter. And you, you want that more. big number. That's right. But with early planting, uh, you, you shouldn't need it because the plants have more time to bush and actually a lower seeding rate is often uh, the way it turns out. Here's the long and the short of it. It really depends on your location because right here at Alora, every date, every variety, um, the 230, every replication yielded more than the 160 and the 90. Now, not a lot more, but I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's quite a story because I would not have expected that 230 
to win in every stinking case, right? I mean, yeah. uh, it's almost kind of like, well, you know, what are you, what are you doing seeding at 160 when the 230 always wins? So, I mean, we've heard so much in recent years about we want to get that population, um, you know, a strong population, but not too high, not too low. We don't want to have that heavy seeding rate. Yeah. But And the recommendation now is at 165,000. What I'm hearing from you is we're probably going to push a little higher with that rate where, the, where that economic, you know, number makes sense. Well, I, I think it's it's we have to look at the different locations across Ontario. And once you bring the economics into mm -hmm. it, then all of a sudden it becomes a little less exciting to talk about those high seating rates because because yeah. prices have gone up so much. Right. So at the end of the day, uh, I, I'm going to reserve judgment in terms of where our final population will be. Yeah. But back to that earlier question of what do we do to avoid replant situations yeah. like we have this sure. year. And, and, you know, even though sometimes we don't, we think we did everything right and maybe we did and we still don't have the plant stand. Certainly, seeding on the higher side helps solve some of those problems. Mm. Not to 30 yeah. and 15s on a lighter soils. We're not going yeah. there. But I also am completely convinced that some of these low seeding rates that we we hear about from the states and some Ontario growers mm. in our conditions, they're just wrong. Mm. That's all. They're just wrong. The numbers do not. Our numbers do not uh, show that. They show we need a good population. And if you look at this, uh, this little plot right here, intuitively, you can see that those plants are going to yield a little more. And it's because the rows are full, right? Mm -hmm. Here we are at the beginning of summer and we want to capture all that sun compared to this poor stand, even though we wouldn't replant it, intuitively, any farmer would say, I'll pick the heavier one. And you know, yeah. in this case, they're right. Hey, um, some great insights. Um, we look forward to seeing, I guess, the culmination of your yeah, research. Right, You'll probably right. be rolling that out this winter. And uh, lots of conversations about this in the year ahead. Thank you for uh, making some time for the Soybean School. Well, very good. It's been fun. Awesome. Take care.